don't let the thrill substitute your parachute I've mentioned it before the enemy will always say that a parachute will kill your thrill if you follow God's commandments you will miss on the fun if you live your life according to God's rules you will miss on the excitement therefore jump out without the parachute and hope to have the most fun you can and when you're getting to the bottom call God to be there to pick you up because you don't want to of course have a funeral and that's what the enemy lies to us and that's exactly what this Amnon believed he falls in love and he becomes sick and with feelings the Bible says he starts losing weight he becomes physically sick actually because he's so in love and instead of going to God's Word he begins to see his feelings as an indication that this is right and does that which his feelings tell him even though it's contrary against the Word of God and eventually he ends up making a mistake that he regrets as Christians we must understand our standard is not our feelings our standard is the Word of God as Christians we must understand is the measuring line for us is not our infatuation just because it feels right it doesn't make it right just because it feels so good it doesn't make it so good were you in love at the age of 14? Man, it felt right. You knew you're gonna get married to the person whose name you don't remember now. But how many sleeps you missed? You lost your appetite, you were losing weight or some of you were gaining weight at that time because you were so excited and there was not one thought in your mind this could ever go wrong, this person is perfect. Two weeks later you found someone else so by now being 20 24 you can come to one conclusion your feelings are not consistent they are so unreliable when a married man begins to throw an eye to another woman that is his friend because his marriage is struggling and those feelings become so real and they so they're so strong my friend just because it's real it doesn't make it right and just because it feels good today it does not mean it's good for you and that's a simple truth you have to embrace today because the devil replaces your emotions with God's Word. God's Word holds the heaven and the earth. Your emotions cannot even hold one hour without switching. You have a bad day, go drink coffee. Emotions changed. You have a bad day, somebody gives you $50, your emotions go through the roof. Your emotions cannot hold anything. They're like this up and down. And when you begin to put your life on them instead of the Word of God, push the parachute out and say, no, I'm going to go for the thrill. I don't need the parachute. I don't need God's Word to tell me who I should be with. It's my life. I can do it on my own. My feelings, my heart will lead me. Well, it led you last time. And it wasn't really good. 